Hey guys, this is Sharon here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. So guys, today in this video, what we are going to do is, we are going to optimize our Intel HD graphics to achieve the best performance in the gaming experience. This guide is fast and easy to follow and you will surely see some fantastic results if you do follow my steps. And speaking of the results, if you guys are happy with this video and the results, please do consider giving this video a like as it does help me out tremendously. And if you guys do enjoy this sort of content, please do consider pressing the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so that you will be instantly notified whenever a new video is live on my channel. So guys, before we move on to the settings, it is highly recommended you to create and restore point so that if you want to revert back to the previous settings, you can do so with the help of the restore point. In order to create and restore point, go ahead and hit the windows button and then type create a restore point and then open it. Once you had opened the restore point, at the down you can see an option called configure, click on that and then by default the option will be set to disable system protection. You just change that option to turn on system protection and then change the max usage to 2 and hit the apply button and then close it. Once I had closed the configure button, at the down you can see an another option called create, click on that and go ahead and name it as anything. I am going to name it as intel optimization. Once I had named it anything, just go ahead and hit the create button. Now it will take some time to create and backup point so please wait for a while. Once the restore point was created, go ahead and hit the close button and then close everything. So guys, now let us do some basic settings to achieve the best performance. The settings are right click on your windows and then open your intel graphics properties then go to your 3D settings and then change the application optimal mode to enable multi sample anti analyzing to use application settings, conservative anti analyzing to enhance application settings and hit the apply button and then hit the S button and then go to your home page and again open the power settings and then change the graphics power plans to maximum performance and then click on apply button and then click on S and then go to on battery and again change the graphics power plan to maximum performance extended battery life for gaming disable and hit the apply button and then hit the S button and then close it now you have done all the basic settings in your intel graphics properties ok guys now let us move on to the advanced settings in order to do this first go to the link given in the description box and then right click on the intel optimization by optimal pc tuner and then click on download and then make sure to download the pack once i had downloaded that pack open that pack and then right click on that pack and then click on extract here and then you will get an another folder then open that folder and here you will find 5 folders named the registry optimizations, cmd optimizations, msa mode utility, mem redact and finally ultimate windows tweaker. So guys now let us move on to the step by step process. In order to do this first go to the registry optimization and then right click on all of the files and then click on merge and click on s and click on ok. Now do the same things for the remaining files. I have already done on the PC so I am not going to do so. Once I had done all of the registry optimization settings, come back and then open the CMD optimization folder and then here you will find several CMD files, right click on all of the files and then run as administrator. And for the third one, it will ask you to enter your RAM size in MB, if you don't know your RAM size in MB, just type assist and hit the enter button and then you will get all kind of your RAM size in MB. Make sure to check your RAM size in MB and type S and hit the enter button and then make sure to enter your RAM size in MB. In my case I was running on 8GB of RAM that means 8192 is in MB. So I need to enter that value here. Once I had entered that value hit the enter button and then it will automatically closes. Once I had done all of the same day optimization settings also, come back and then open the MSA mode utility tool and then right click on it and then click on run as administrator and then open it. 
Once the MSI Mode Utility tool was opened, go ahead and find your Intel HD graphics and then change the interrupt affinity to high and hit the apply button and then close it. Once I had done MSI Mode Utility tool optimization also, come back and then open the Memreduct folder and then install Memreduct software in your computer. I am not going to do so because I had already installed the Memreduct software on my laptop. Once I had installed the Memreduct software on your laptop or computer, open it and then go to the file and go to the settings and then go to the general options and then click on start minimize and again click on load on system startup and then go to the memory cleaning and then make sure to tick the clean every and then change the value to 5 and click on close and click on clean memory. What this actually do is, for every 5 minutes this will automatically boost your RAM for better performance and gaming experience. Once I had done memory deck settings also, come back and then open the ultimate windows tweaker and then right click on that and then click on run as administrator and then open it. Once I had opened the ultimate windows tweaker 4.7.1, go to the additional tab and then click on restart explorer after applying settings and then click on apply tweaks and now go to the performance settings and then make sure to change the first value to 1000, the second value to 1000 and make sure to leave the third value as it is. Once I had done that setting also, then select all of this what have been selected and go ahead and hit the apply tweaks and then close it. Now it will ask you to restart your laptop or computer, you just click on OK but do not restart it. Once I had done all of these settings, go ahead and hit the windows button and then type background apps and then open it. Now by default the option will be set it to on, you just click on off and then close it. Once I had done that setting also, again go ahead and hit the windows plus R button and then type gpedit.msc. This code will be given at the description box. Do copy that code and then paste it here and hit the enter button. Once the gpedit.msc was opened up, double click on the administrator templates and then click on the windows components and then double click on the app privacy and then search for an option called let's window app run in the background. Double click on that and then click on enabled and then change the option to the force d9 and hit the apply button and click on ok and then close it. Once I had done that setting also, again go ahead and hit the windows button and then type startup apps and then open it. Once the startup app setting was open up, go ahead and disable the unnecessary startup applications and then close it. Once you done that setting also, go ahead and open your C drive and then click on windows folder and search for an another folder called software distribution and then open it and then click on download and click on ctrl a and then right click on them and click on delete and click on s now make sure to empty your recycle bin by right click on that and click on empty recycle bin and then click on s once you done that setting also again go ahead and hit the windows plus r button and then type ms config and hit the enter button and then open it. Once it was opened, go to the boot tab and then change the timeout setting to 5 and then click on no GUI boot and click on apply and then close it. Now it will ask you to restart your laptop or computer, you just click on cancel. Once I had done that setting also, go ahead and open the this PC and then right click on that and then click on properties and then open it. Now a pop-up window will open like this, you just click on advanced system settings and then click on performance settings and then click on edges for best performance and select what I have been selected. Once you done that setting also, click on apply and then go to the advanced settings and by default the option will be set to background services, you just click on programs and click on apply and then at the down you can see an another option called virtual memory, click on change and here you need to do several modifications. The modifications are, by default the option will be set to automatic manage spacing files for all drivers, you just uncheck that option and then click on custom size and for the initial size the value will be given at the recommended bar, do check that value and then paste it here. In my case at the recommended bar my value is 1848 so I need to copy that value and then paste it here. Once I had done that setting also, for the maximum size, go ahead and hit the windows button 
and then type calculator and then open it. Once the calculator was opened, go ahead and enter your RAM size and then multiply it into 1024 and hit the enter button and then you will get one value. Do copy that value and then paste it here. Remember one thing guys, at the calculator you can see comma. Do not enter that comma in the maximum size or else it will show an error pop-up window. So make sure to check your value and then paste it here. In my case, I was running my value is 8192. So I need to copy that value and then paste it here. Once you pasted that value to here, click on set and click on OK and hit the apply button, click on OK and close every tabs and then it will ask you to restart your laptop or computer. Now make sure to restart your laptop or computer to apply the changes what we have done right now. After restarting your laptop or computer, you will surely see some drastical performance boost on your computer or laptop. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon and if you have any kind of suggestions or doubts make sure to comment in our comment box i will get you there as fast as i can okay guys with all due respect love your parents respect your country and mainly take care of yourself bye